Hey guys, what's up? It's me. So I'm back with another video. And so for today's video, I look a hot mess. I know my hair is all fucked up. I'm wearing these pajamas, but you know what? It's all it's all good because you know, I'm not that type of bitch that looks like a thousand bucks every single day, okay? I'm showing you the reality of my life and what I think everyone's life should be. I don't think everyone should be glammed up all the fucking time. Um, so, yeah, so um, this video is going to be another interview video of my series. So if you like these type of videos, give it a big thumbs up. Also, comment down below what kind of questions you would like to hear next. So, I have a special guest that's going to be asking me some dirty, mysterious questions. <laughs> ah, okay, and while he's asking me questions, I'm going to be eating this fish. So, you can ask. All right. So Wait a second, does this fish have like, does it have like mayo? No, salt, pepper, and olive oil. Okay. <laughs> All right, you can ask. When was the first time you had sex? When was the first time I had sex? Um. Oh, I, I remember. I don't remember how old I was, so, but. Um, it was at a mall in the JCPenney stall changing room the woman's changing room actually <laughs> um and it was very very awkward he was older than me though he was in high school already and i was um i was in junior high going going into high school <laughs> his face is like oh my god yeah he was a little older than me I think I was in, because I, I remember this vividly. Yes, I was in junior high school. I was like in eighth grade. <laughs> and then, the, yeah, I was in eighth grade. And um, yeah, I think he was like a sophomore in high school at the time. <laughs> a sophomore or a junior, either one of those. Um, so yeah, it was super fucking awkward, super fucking fast and uncomfortable and I was just like, oh no, 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 no. It was it wasn't good. I was so scared of somebody catching us. <laughs> Cause I mean, he was in the females changing room. And so it's like, oh my God. Yeah, so that wasn't that wasn't a fun time, you guys. That was not a fun time. Ah, oh, this fucking fish. It's so fucking hard to like take this shit off. Eat the other end. God damn. <laughs> there you go. Mm. <laughs> so, okay, so there's that. What do you think about that, though? Good story. Have you ever done it in, like, a changing room for women? <laughs> for women, definitely not. Not a women's changing room. <laughs> no. Really? Yeah. Maybe, like, a co ed space. Or maybe I brought a woman into the men's room. What? If That's we weird. get busted, mm -hmm. if we get busted, no one's gonna say, oh, woman, you're so creepy for going into the men's room. And as opposed to if a guy was calling woman's room, like, That's a real creepy. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, all right, so. Talk a little louder, so. A guy tells you. <laughs> You really like a guy. Mm -hmm. You think he might be the one even. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. He tells you he has a weird fetish. Mm -hmm. Or a one you find weird. And you kind of like are uncomfortable about doing it. Mm -hmm. How likely do you think he'll overcome it? Assuming it's not something that is dangerous to your health. Oh, I was. Or safety. Okay. Um, fetishes, fetishes. First of all, I just think fetishes are creepy anyways, um, to begin with, so maybe if it was something subtle, 
and like light, maybe, maybe. But if it was like something insane, like fucking pissing in my mouth, now that shit, I would break up with someone over that. That probably counts as dangerous to your health. <laughs> dangerous to my health. Yeah, that's true. Oh, but hey, there's some guys like that. I know. I, know. I actually had one guy ask me if he could pay me to watch me pee. He was like five bucks to watch you pee. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna need more than five bucks. Yeah, that's like Like so that's long nothing. Long. Like excuse you? Well, you wanna watch me fucking pee for five dollars? No fucking way. You're gonna about, give me what about fifty? What do you have time for fifty? Fifty. Hell yeah. At least fifty bucks. Like five bucks, dude. You're no. That's so fucking mm -hmm. no. <laughs> right. Yeah, but yeah, if it's anything like I don't know, like I've never really been with a guy with a fetish, anyways. So, yeah, I don't know. All right. Hmm. If your man like sucked at his career, like had no direction, but like you guys got along, mm -hmm. would that be a deal breaker? If he sucked at his career, like at least he has one. <laughs> you don't have to be the best at what you're doing necessarily. Um, lots of people are in careers and jobs that they're not great at, but at least they're still making something of themselves. And that's what a lot of women fail to realize that at least your fucking man has a job. There's men out here that don't want to work at all actually you know and they're totally capable of working but they just don't want to so i'd rather have a man that's not great with what he's doing than to just be a lazy man no one likes a lazy man so yeah that's my take on it good take good take yeah I always think of it that way because you know not everybody is great at what they do but you know nowadays it's hard to even find a job so at least someone fucking has one if they do you know so hey <laughs> can't always be so damn picky <laughs> you know a lot of females are picky all right yes. so Think of more questions. <laughs> you wasn't expecting that one. Yeah, that wasn't even a sexual question. That was more like a dating question. Um, I mean, it. it was a fish. That's good. What's the most number of times you've had sex in one day? <laughs> Didn't I tell you this before? Um. Oh, okay, I can tell you guys. Yeah, so I, now this was when I was in a relationship, you know, I feel like, you know, if, if I am in a relationship, I could go like so many times in one day, <laughs> um, probably like, wow, probably like four, five times in one day, and trust me, that don't do it you guys you will be sore it happened it's happened so bad like one time like I couldn't even really walk and I know that's like a stereotype like oh I fuck you so hard you can't even walk no I'm so serious like if you have sex so much even not even just for women but men they're fucking wow well, I hope this video doesn't get taken down <laughs> but you guys know I have no filter. No filter on this channel at all. So YouTube, do not strike me down for this. This is nothing to be striked down for, okay? It's not like I'm fucking having sex on camera. But anyway, so even like men could get sore. Their penis, like, you know, could... Very true. Like, 
oh my god like my ex used to do it so much that like he would be sore and it would hurt him <laughs> like, yeah so like five definitely like four to five times in one day comment down below how many times you guys have had sex in one day <laughs> what oh wait no you're supposed to ask me i was gonna ask you i'll ask you off camera <laughs> okay so mm. Uh, are there any places you still want to do it that you have not yet? Um, I'm not really adventurous when it comes to sex. Like, like I do it like I, I feel like I like to do it in a lot of traditional places, like where you would normally have sex at, like in a home. <laughs> I'm boring when it comes to sex, but. I mean, I've done it in like trashy places before, like in the woods and like in a car and those aren't really the most great romantic. Places. What? Those are great places. No, it's not. Those aren't really romantic places to have sex. I find outdoors very romantic. No, I feel trashy. I feel like cause that's just like... Uh, You're a natural person. Mm. I mean, maybe in an alley would be trashy. <laughs> an alley <laughs> um no i don't know i just find it trashy like i mean no offense to the people ha that have done it and like it like not shaming you guys but for me like i don't know like i'm more of a traditional girl like especially even if it was like in a hotel which i had have like i've had hotel sex before but i wouldn't just want regular hotel sex maybe if someone like you know, make the bed all nice and put like rose petals and like rose petals like, oh, oh my fucking God, that would be so beautiful. Like if someone put rose petals like around like the bathtub or, you know, maybe even in the bathtub with like candles lit and wine, oh, I think I would have a baby that night and I don't even want kids. So that's really saying something. If someone did that for me, that would, oh my God, that would really turn me on. I never had a man do anything for me like that. Except for, well, I've had a guy put rose petals on the bed, my ex. <laughs> and, but that's it. Oh, well, and a romantic steak that was in a shape of a heart. Never had that before, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you eat the steak while having sex? No. No, I um, was drinking and um, I threw up. So I like threw up the romantic dinner. He was mad. <laughs> He's like, I just made you the heart steak and you threw it up. Like, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> So there's, so you want to do it in like a rose petal bathtub still? I would love that. That would be so romantic with champagne or something. And like, I would feel like a goddess, but I feel like for that, I would need to know about it maybe because I want to oh, look- really? Not a surprise. No, because I, for that, I want to look sexy. I don't want to, because if I don't know about it and I look like this, that's not, ooh, that's not, that's not cute. Word, word. I want to look sexy. I want to have, I want to be prepared. I want my lingerie. I want my hair done. I want to look sexy for it. Not, not like this. <laughs> so they would have to tell me about it, but it would still be nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. One more question. You can cut this one if it's too personal. Okay. How often do you masturbate? One, I do not masturbate at all. I know a lot of females do, some don't, but I'm one of those that don't. I think so. a lot of women don't. Um, no, there's some that do. Yeah, some do. Like the people that, what are they called, nymphos or something? The ones that are like really into sex, like obsessed with sex. 
yeah like i've seen i've watched some porn star chicks that you know talk about you know how they fucking masturbate like 10 times a day i'm like what the fuck yeah but i'm one of those that don't so i can't really say much about it but i just don't but anyways you guys so you guys that was it for this video um it was more like a chill video i look crazy i know i'm so sorry but this is what you get take it or leave it so <laughs> anyways yeah so comment down below um some topics you want me to cover for these series um and i'll try and do them so i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye